Hi everyone, it's Richard Plumdog here. It's been a little while since I've done a video. If I'm honest, it's been a little while since I've done any jobs. Um, but um, it's a busy day. It's an opportunity for me to get out on the road and help the boys out. And I'm in a suburb called City Beach and I've just been sent to a water leak. In fact, this is the second job I want today. The first job I went to a water leak and unfortunately there was no water leak. After doing a five minute test at the meter, there's nothing to be found. So that was a bit disappointing. Obviously good news for the client, but yeah, I like to get stuck into something. Um, and anyway, I'm on a job here in City Beach with a water leak and take a look at this. There's definitely a leak on this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you're notified each time we upload a video. So water leak, 24 litres a minute, boo-wee. There she is, it's somewhere in here. All right, so I found the leak. As you can see on that, and it's near the house. Just got Reese here now helping. Hey, Reese. Hello, everyone. So what we're gonna do is rather than waste time under the decking, they've had multiple problems here, and it's gonna be an absolute pig to try and repair a pipe under there, is what we've done is we've quickly found where the pipe is in the ground on the, from the side of the house, the main feed, before it goes under the decking. So theoretically, if we cap it here, which we have, and when we turn it on in a minute, if it, if it doesn't leak, then basically we should be able to re-divert the pipe up the side of the house and feed it back over here, which basically totally eliminates the pipe that's under the decking that's been problematic. So that's the plan. So we're gonna turn it on in a minute. And if there's no more leak, and then hopefully everything in the house still works, then we can give a quote, re-divert the pipe, up the house, around, job done, no more water issues under the deck. So, fingers crossed. Back on. Meter's low, no longer moving, so that's the leak isolated. Now we're just gonna hope that all the rooms and fixtures in the house have, wa have no water. And if that's the case, we're on to it. Reese at Pond Dog here. Just returned back to a job in Florida that we were called out to for a burst pipe last week where we um, installed a temporary bypass line. And today we've come back and go install a new run, connecting in from the supply on this side of the decking and bring it up, connect into this feed that we have here for the host hat. And then um, run a 20 more line all the way across and connect onto up there at the top where you can see the light. And, um, get rid of this water feed from underneath the decking but they keep getting issues so I'll keep you posted on what we do yeah just a quick recap on what we've done so we've located a, a leak under the decking over there we've dug up where the supply comes in capped it off and then we've come back and we've run a new piece of copper and diverted it ran copper all along the top here back into the supply to the property along here making what's underneath here redundant and no longer in service don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you're notified each time we upload a video